nice boots. So around, we're going to talk about crew strategies. There's a couple strategies that we're going to discuss for crew. One is the fulfillment of the Great Commission, which is basically a pull from the Bible uh, that is encouraging sharing your faith, basically, with other people. And another one of crew strategies is to offer, like, spiritual guidance for their members. So a couple of tactics that we think crew can use to accomplish that, and, and some levels they are using, but just maybe can use better is peer-to-peer -peer sharing and encouragement. So that would be, you know, a crew member approaching people in his class or <coughs> approaching people in study groups and kind of encouraging to take part in it. And some of the, um, oh, and then the other tactic would be to you to get, like, your news out on campus about events and things like that. In order to do that, the tools we're going to use are, like, the information in the Daily Titan, handing out brochures and different little like flyers, the properties of social networks. We uh, mocked up a couple like flyers they could do for some of their different little events and weekly meetings, things like that that we'll pass around. And as far as kind of encouraging students, we thought uh, a good way to do that would be just to encourage students to utilize the classroom setting and uh, like friendships they're making through that. Our next slide. Our same thing, we have a couple goals that we think aligns best, or that crew best aligned with what we're trying to do for them. Basically, uh, it's around spiritually developing our students, impacting the like student life on campus, as well as bettering the campus and community. Um, some of the objectives to like attain these would be to increase club membership and attendance. Um, we also think it's important in order for them to provide that spiritual development in their students to make sure they're spending time in the Bible. Uh, so basically the easiest thing for them to do that through is through their weekly meetings to make sure that they have curriculum consistent with what the Bible teaches and to get involved in community work. Next slide. The target publics, we have two main target publics and a couple subsections for each one of those. Our first is obviously for Christian students. Um, granted, there's a lot of different looks and versions of a Christian student. Two in particular would be a student who's very excited about their faith and uh, looking for a way to share it with others and uh, help others along. And there's also Christian students who might be kind of seeking for a deeper relationship with Jesus. So those are two... Uh, versions of a Christian student that they'll be targeting. And then there's also, of course, the non-Christian college students basically reaching out to students who are maybe 
searching for something, ask questions about uh, who God is, whatnot. Uh, in the Bible, Jesus spends an awful lot of time hanging out with non-Christians, and so we think that would be a, a proper parallel for the club as well. And Sarah's going to give us one. All right. The key messages and themes. The key messages of who are those appropriate with ways of Christianity, obviously, so it's important because they are the faith-based organization. Their current mission statement is to turn law students into Christ-centered laborers, and we suggested that they this be changed because of the negative connotations associated with laws and laborers. Um, we suggested that it read instead that crew provides guidance to students by sharing the message of God. And crew's purpose is also to help, as we mentioned before, fulfill the Great Commission. Not, they say it's found in Matthew 28, 18 through 20. This reads that, Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the end of the age. Uh, therefore, that their mission statement is their main key message, and everything that they do should reflect and line up with the Great Commission and um, their mission statement and their beliefs that are stated in the verse. So we ensured as a group that any tactic we suggested to them definitely applied and is appropriate with their key messages and the themes of the organization. Uh, next slide. Okay, measurement and evaluation. Crew can't achieve their set goals if there's no change in the active membership and attendance. So the increase in club membership and the attendance will be the first step towards achieving the goals. In order to determine growth, you have to count the amount of people attending meetings and events, which currently there's no system for and they don't measure anything like that. Um, the next evaluation would be for how many people actually participate in the events in relation to the membership and the meeting attendance. This is why we suggested that they establish a system of checking in to each meeting and event to determine the actual number of people that are involved and if there is an increase in participation or not. Ensuring that each member likes the Facebook page will also make for a greater presence. Or encouraging uploading and commenting on the YouTube page or any social media site can increase the member involvement and generate more interest for crew. If there is a large growth in the active membership, then the success has been reached. But if there is little to no change, then that's how I know their plan is unsuccessful. And that's what their main focus is. So. Uh, the timeline, uh, technically, is going to be through the uh, CSUS school year. So we divided it by semesters, and uh, we suggested to our client that he should start next month by getting blueprinted, because without getting blueprinted, he's not allowed to post any flyers around campus or pretty much promote his club. And then another thing that we gave him as pretty much a weekly homework assignment is to promote his social media through posting uh, things like weekly Bible quotes, just so people could see that they're aware uh, uh, that they're aware of the web, uh, their social media. And we also said that they should, um, oh yeah, like pretty much promote their, their weekly meetings and like guest speakers that are gonna be coming. And we provided our client with like blueprinting dates, specific blueprinting dates that he should do it before the school semester, uh, pretty much the next spring semester begins. And also, we promote. Uh, we told, we gave him deadlines to when he should have like his flyers done, and uh, he should also submit a application for Discover Fest because that's where he's going to get most of these members from. So we uh, told him that he has to submit a Discover Fest application so they could uh, reserve a table for a crew. And uh, next slide. And then our budget, pretty much, uh, we provided a low budget, and made, basically it was mostly for printing. And uh, we came up with a budget of 57.80 to per, uh, to print out the posters that he's gonna put across campus to promote crew. And the rest for like food and everything else is gonna be pretty much by sponsorship and donations, which we provided a letter for him to reach out to outside organizations and fast food services around 